Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. Hello, in this video, I'm going to show you how to add a vendor to QuickBooks Online. We're going to move over to the left hand side down to expenses over and down to vendors. We're going to go over to the right and click new vendor. Under vendor display name is where I'm going to type. My vendor's name is going to be Debbie's accounting firm. You can put as much information here or as little information as you'd like. Just note that this is what is going to print on the checks. So if you need to change that for whatever reason, that's where you'll do that. But the display name will remain the same. Put in your address that will be printed on the checks. You have a notes and attachment section. So if there is something important like closed on Fridays, that'll jog your memory. You can add anything that was important, like let's say a contract between the two of you. And then under additional info, if you need to send this vendor 1099s, get that information from them, either their business ID, the social security, click track payments for 1099. And again, you can add as much or as little information as you'd like here. If you know the rate, put it there. If you know it's always due in 30 days, put it there. Account number. And then for the default expense category, you can assign this vendor to have a specific expense account. And since we know it's going to be for accounting services, I'm going to click that. You don't have to assign it, you can leave that blank and you can assign it each time you have a bill or invoice. We're gonna click save at the bottom. And now we have added Debbie's accounting firm. Now I'm gonna look for it. There it is. Perfect, so this is their profile. You can see their name, the address, and the note right here that it's closed on Fridays. And now, you can add whatever you'd like to this vendor profile. Hope you found this helpful. Thanks for watching.